Hello dear friend, in this video we will talk a little about the Dunkelosteus, a giant carnivorous fish from the late Devonian period. Welcome to Dinopedia, your dinosaurs channel. This channel create content about dinosaurs and also about all the fantastic creatures of prehistory and the events that influence these beings. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Now, let's start the journey at the prehistoric age. Holotype Taxonomy. What is its name? The name of this creature is Dunkelosteus terrily. Dunkelosteus, from Greek means, Dunlul's bone. Dunkelosteus was named in 1956, in honor to paleoecheologist David Dunkel. The specific name Terrelly is in honor to J. Terrell, the fossil's discoverer. Dunkelosteus Terrelly is the largest and most well-known species, but there are others. Here is a list. 1. Dunkelosteus belgicus. 2. Dunkelosteus denisoni. 3. Dunkelosteus marsesi. 4. Dunkelosteus magnificus. 5. Dunkelosteus misoriensis. 6. Dunkelosteus newberry. 7. Dunkelosteus amblydoridus. 8. Dunkelosteus ravery. Morphology of the animal. What is its size? Dunkelosteus terrily had approximately 8.79 meters, equivalent to 28.8 feet in length. Dunkelosteus terrily weighed 4 tons, equivalent to 4.4 short tons. What did it look like? The head of Dunkelosteus is disproportionate compared to the rest of its body. The most distinctive characteristic of Dunkelosteus is the bony armor around his neck and head. This armor is divided in several bony plates. They seem to work mechanically together, like parts of some gear or like parts of a machine. The appearance of Dunkelosteus seems like demonic. It had huge fish-like eyes. Researchers say its body probably was naked and didn't have scales. Dunkelosteus didn't have teeth, instead, it had very powerful bony blades. Dunkelosteus had one dorsal fin, two pectoral fins, and two pelvic fins. It also had one caudal fin, divided into a dorsal lobe and a ventral lobe. Experts believe that this giant fish had a dark color on the upper body and a silverish color on the belly. Animal ethology. How did it behave? Main behavioral characteristics. Diet. Carnivore. Food chain placement. Apex predator, also known as alpha or top predator. Locomotion. Aquatic, swimming and diving. Environment. Marine, salty water. Reproduction. Sexual, internal fertilization. If Dunkelosteus reproduced by having live birth, or laying eggs, is unknown. Sexual dimorphism. Some experts believe that, male placoderms had pelvic bony claspers, and females had genital basal plates. Respiratory system. Bronchial, through the gills. Thermoregulation. Ectothermic, cold-blooded, using the environmental temperature. Dunkelosteus was a slow, but powerful swimmer, due to its heavy bony armor. Dunkelosteus, was a very territorial, and aggressive animal, and probably, must have had battles, with sharks and other placoderms. Dunkelosteus could open its jaws, in 20 milliseconds, and complete the movement, in 50 to 60 milliseconds. It generates a powerful suction system that can assist in prey capture. Some modern fishes also use this technique to capture their preys. Dunkelosteus had an estimated bite force at the tip. 1. 6.000 newtons. 2. 612 kilogram. 3. 1.349 pounds. And had an estimated bite force at the blade edge. 1. 7.400 newtons. 2. 755 kilogram. 3. 1.664 pounds. It was enough to cut through any animal armor of its epic. The lower jaw of young ones suggest they had powerful bite, but had to use it in smaller prey. Juvenile fossils are found in coastal areas, while adults are found in deeper waters. Some experts believe that Dunkelosteus should launch surprise attacks sometimes, as it was not a fast predator, but it was very strong and resistant. What did it eat? Dunkelosteus terrily shared its environment with marine turtles, reptiles, amphibians, mammals, sharks. This giant of the seas certainly could attack and probably eat anything that moves in front of it, even other Dunkelosteus. Some researchers 
found some traces and adaptations to eating ammonites and mollusks. Paleoecology. Where did it lie? Fossils of Dunkelosteus species were found at North America, Poland, Belgium and Morocco. Geology. When did it lie? This creature lived in the late Devonian period, about 358 to 382 million years ago, in Upper Phrasnian to Upper Fomenian stages. Paleontological discovery. How was it discovered? The species, Dunkelosteus terrily, was first discovered in 1867, along the shale cliffs of Cove Beach, in the town of Sheffield Lake, and was named Terrible Fish, by its discoverer, an Ohio geologist, called J. Terrell. Dunkelosteus terrily fossil, was reconstructed by, paleontologist Peter Bungar, at Cleveland Museum of Natural History. The type species, Dunkelosteus terrily, was originally described in 1873, as a species of Dinichthys. Because of its primitive jaw structure, in 2009, Anderson suggests, Dunkelosteus should be placed, outside the family Dinichthyidae. In 2010, Carr and Lavin, placed Dunkelosteus within, Dunkleostidae, an extinct family, of Arthrodi or Placoderms. Miscellaneous. Additional information. Dunkelosteus, are among the first vertebrates, to have internal fertilization reproduction. Dunkelosteus probably regurgitated, the bony parts of its victims frequently, as several semi-digested remains were found, near the fossils of this creature. The bony plates, which acted as the teeth, are called by the scientists as fangs, sharpened themselves, with every opening and closing of the mouth. They scraped against each other, sharpening them in the process. The Dunkelosteus are believed to be cannibalistic. From the injury marks, found on certain fossils, it is evident, that the injuries, were inflicted by their own kind. This, makes it certain, that they attacked each other for food, or, for resources and territory control. How it was extinct, it is believed, that Dunkelosteus, was extinct in the, Hangenberg event. A mass extinction event, that occurred in the end Devonian period, at the end of the Fomenian stage. Three quarters or 75% of species, on earth and water, disappeared during this tumultuous period. This event, drastically decreased the oxygen level in the seas, and that's bad news for marine animals, and when you're a four-ton giant, surviving is a pretty impossible task. What caused the Hangenberg event, is still a matter of discussion. What is still not known about it? If Dunkelosteus, have live birth or laid eggs, still generate debates. Why Dunkelosteus individuals, attack each other, is not well explained yet. About this creature and the museums. Here go some of the museums, where you can find fossils, and models. 1. Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Location. Cleveland, Ohio, USA. 2. American Museum of Natural History. Location. New York, USA. 3. Rocky River Nature Center. Location. Rocky River Valley, Cleveland, Ohio, USA. 4. Rochester Museum and Science Center. Location. Rochester, New York, USA. 5. Field Museum of Natural History. Location. Chicago, Illinois, USA. About this creature, and the cryptozoology, in the year 2003, a remotely operated underwater vehicle, also known as, Kaiko Submarine, was lost, at sea, off the coast of Shikoku Island, during the Typhoon Chan home season. One camera of the device, captured a creature, hanging around the vehicle. Dunkelosteus, fits perfectly, on the description of this creature. About this creature, and the media, there are many documentaries, talking about Dunkelosteus, take a peek in one of them. Uh, he's been spooked by something. It's a Dunkelosteus! He must have smelled the bait. This is what we came for. And it's coming straight towards us. See that really thick protective armor on the head there? Over two inches thick. Only the first third of the body's covered with that. Look at that. These fish, they've got these massive jaws with big sharp shears sticking out. And what they do is they slice them together just like scissors working. The very action of slicing them together keeps them sharp. And with that they can cut through anything. Let's see if I can win my bet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Animal taxonomy. Scientific classification. Kingdom. Animalia. Phylum. Chordata. Class. Placodermy. Order. Arthrodira. Family. Dunkleostidae. Genus. Dunkleosteus leman. 1956. Type species. Dunkleosteus terrily. By John Strong Newberry. 1873. Dunkleosteus is the perfect creature for any movie or documentary about extinct animals. Its appearance, size, aggressivity, and bite force makes it a fantastic creature. Seems that it is out of a horror or fiction movie. If you are watching the video until now, don't forget to like it and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.